Thank you. Please sit down. I came almost prepared. I had to borrow Mr. Del Rosario's speech so I can answer the points raised on a point-by-point -point basis. But first of all, thank you for all, all for being here. <clears throat> As a typical of our days, we have so many topics on hand. I started out with meeting a Canadian minister, followed up by my review of the report by Justice Delima et al. I am halfway through the report. I had to be here afterwards. I'm, ac I'm actually at the point where uh, the letter from the Ombudsman has already been delivered. Hopefully I'll be able to finish it as soon as I get out of uh, our meeting. But um, first, let me congratulate you for being really united in our quest for transformation of our society, the institutions that uh, we find ourselves in, the practices that have not really redounded to the benefit of the people. May I try and respond to the points raised by Mr. Del Rosario, given that uh, he has already noted all of our recent successes like the Stock Exchange Index, the Strong Peso, the 13 times oversubscribed first Philippine Peso bond denomination. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Key positions in government that it filled. Um, I think there are some of you in this hall who have been approached and have been asked to join government and for various reasons have refused to do so. <laughs> there is really an urgency to, to fill up all of the positions. There is actually an, a ban starting September 25, if I'm not mistaken, uh, due to the barangay elections. So there is an urgency to meet and fill up something in the neighborhood of 4,300 positions. Now. Look at them. If you were an HR manager and you were tasked to look for all of this talent, you'll ask them, are you ready to come and help serve the people? You will be given a pittance of what, the sal what salary you had. You will be criticized before you accept the position. You will be criticized whilst in position and after leaving that particular position. And at the end of the day, perhaps it will be only the president that will thank you. And can you consider giving up six years of your life and holding all of your plans in abeyance? And to a large degree, we have had a lot of successes in that aspect. So you get the people are competent, trustworthy to do the job, but at the same time, you have to be wary of people who self-promote. Uh, we almost made a mistake of appointing somebody to a key law enforcement position. And to be honest with you, I'm fortunate that I had a rethink of uh, this particular individual because daily I pe keep getting reports that this individual does not have such a stellar record. And in fact, it's the complete opposite of, of what we would want to achieve. And um, we are trying our best. Um, there are a lot of uh, side issues. Uh, in America, I understand they have something called the plum book. The plum book is a list of government positions that have to be filled up. When we started in office, we were told we only had 1,000 positions to fill up. And then eventually, they did come up with the number of above 4,300. And then afterwards, uh, they gave us all of these positions that supposedly had tenure. No. And we have been challenged as to the validity of an executive order calling to task all of these midnight appointments. So be assured, we are trying our best. We are having a lot of successes. But getting the right people to all of these jobs is obviously not that easy, given that there are very, few, very, very few perks and benefits that we can give to them. I'm sorry, I'm at the portion that there are a lot of notes also. <laughs> there is, of course, uh, the communications aspect. There are a lot of things that have been done. It's a personal bias. I do not call attention to things that I have done correctly. Uh, I respond to criticisms of alleged um, in ill-conceived actions. But um, again, it's a personal bias. No? And perhaps I'm, I will have to modify it. Perhaps we do have to call attention to things that have already been achieved, uh, even given the limited time that we have been here. Um, I was raised to be modest and to be humble. And uh, if I start the day off with an emphasis on praising myself, I think that is so totally wrong. But at the same time, if it detracts from the ability of the people to be aware of exactly what is happening, to in further increase their aggravation of things that are not the seemingly not yet being done, then perhaps there has to be a happy compromise between the two. And our communications group is really working on that. 
simply. With regards to tax evasion and smuggling, each of our, the concerned agencies has promised to file cases, major cases, every other week, meaning the BIR files one week, it's the customs that does the second week, and uh, so on and so forth. They promised 26 cases at least. And uh, be assured that I'm on top of the two agencies, as well as their respective secretaries, well, singular secretary rather, and I keep asking, well, let me correct myself, two secretaries because the DOJ secretary is also um, one of the people I keep pestering as to the status of cases if they have been filed and uh, prospects for uh, getting convictions. And obviously, I will be escorting the first uh, convicted individuals to their new accommodations at the National Bilibid. Uh, <laughs> we have also done a survey of the National Bilibid's properties, and there is great room for expansion. Uh, so, but I would request that most individuals not opt to join this particular subdivision. Okay. Review of the Labor Code, yes, we will do that uh, Labor Code. I am very, very pleased with the performance of Secretary Baldos. She has yet to come up um, ill-prepared for any question I throw at her, even coming out of the blue. I, have, uh, she, I appointed her first as an acting capacity because uh, she's, she had risen from the ranks. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know her from Adam before I appointed her, whether or not we would have a very good working relationship. Uh, in the course of about a week ago, I did ask her, um, uh, in the midst of talking about the issues affecting PAL, if she would consider accepting the position on a permanent basis, and I'm, I believe she will, she will agree to do so, and we are really very fortunate to have her. So we will task her to review the Labor Code. I invite everybody who has inputs to this to, to do so, and of course, once we talk to management, labor will have huge cries of how and howling that uh, we are very pro-management. So we will ask them also for their own inputs. I guess what I'm trying to say is um, I really am a firm believer of the fact that, one, we are here as your servants. We are here to hear your voice. We hope to achieve a consensus. The consensus gets implemented. Everybody winds up a winner. And the start of all of that is honest dialogue with all sectors concerned. If we have the end in view that once growth redounds to our own growth, then I don't think any hindrance to achieving that consensus is to be expected. Naia 3, to be honest with you, I am, I am still studying um, all of the position papers sent to my office with regards to the AIA 3. I think they number about five or six different reports and uh, none of them will be less than an inch thick, so you'll give me a little more time to come up with the detailed plans of how we envision NAEA 3 to be. Uh, I am tempted to tell you our target date for uh, opening the said facility fully, but since the plan is almost done, but it's not yet completely done, I am, again, forced to not tell you of all of the plans at this point in time, lest I be accused of not fulfilling all of the promises that we have made. Okay. Um, with regards to the common carrier tax, I understand this part needs legislation. So, you know, all measures for taxation and appropriations emanate from the House. We will discuss this with our allies in both chambers to, to do so at the earliest possible time. With regards to disaster mitigation, there is a comprehensive plan already in existence. Uh, the agencies tasked uh, with disaster relief have already responded. The latest has been in the flash floods in Coronadal uh, that happened um, recently. DSWD was on hand and had mitigated the negative effects on our citizenry. From the first disaster under my watch, Bashang, to the present, we have already seen no, other concerned government agencies, for the most part, fulfilling their roles. And, um, you know, to be honest with you, one of the worst reports I got upon entering office was that there were 